Welcome to our daily devotional series, Introducing God, as we continue to look at the story of the family of Israel, of Jacob. And as we come now to the story, Joseph has brought his sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, to his father, Jacob, Israel. And now Israel is going to put his hands on to bless Ephraim and Manasseh. Let's pick up with verse 8 of Genesis 48. Genesis 48, verse 8. Then Israel saw Joseph's sons and said, Who are these? And Joseph said to his father, They are my sons, whom God has given me here. So he said, Bring them to me, please, that I may bless them. Now the eyes of Israel were so dim from age that he could not see. Then Joseph brought them close, and he kissed them and embraced them. Then Israel said to Joseph, I never expected to see your face, and behold, God has let me see your seed as well. Then Joseph took them from his knees and bowed with his face toward the ground. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim with his right hand toward Israel's left, and Manasseh with his left hand toward Israel's right, and brought them close to him. But Israel stretched out his right hand and laid on the head of Ephraim, who was the younger, and his left hand on Manasseh's head, crossing his hands, although Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, May the God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has been my shepherd throughout my life to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from evil, bless these boys. And may my name live on in them, and the names of my fathers Abraham and Isaac. And may they grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. We'll stop there for today, because this is a beautiful blessing. Israel, Jacob, is simply asking God, to be with these two boys, and in the process, challenging these two boys to live for God. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and my God, who has redeemed me, be with you, and may you grow in him. I think that's a wonderful blessing to pass on to our children, our grandchildren, that they walk in the way of God. And if you are a child, and you are somebody's child, I do believe that's what your parents would want for you to walk in the way of God. And so let's look at ourselves. Let's look at God's word and ask ourselves, are we living for God, the God who cares, the God who blesses? Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the blessings that you give us, for the rain, for the sun, for the change in seasons, for the families that surround us, whether they are physical families or our spiritual family, the church. Father, we thank you for them. And Father, may we walk in your way and may we teach our children to walk in your way. And may our children learn from our teaching and accept our teaching and accept our instruction and follow you. Thank you for giving us grace. And Father, I pray for those that are not following you, who have walked away from you or have never come to know you, that they will seek you where you may be found, knowing you may be found, and that they will realize that life is so much better and eternity is so much better when they walk with you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to join you as we spend time in God's Word. I do look forward to our time together. I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. <music>